I think initially when you hear Jeff's story, you assume the specificity of the event, the marathon and the bombing that happened. But I think that the movie is about something even bigger. It's just a very human story within this kind of universally felt tragedy. The idea of taking something that is plucked from the headlines and then going in with a microscope to something very intimate. I really need you right now. This is a movie that we didn't make up, it, it actually happened, and we wanted to be very authentic to Jeff and his family. They were really interested in, in my story and wanted to just like take it all in. I'm gonna be there at the finish line for you. I'm gonna make a big sign for you! I first heard about the story, obviously, on the news. I saw a photograph of Jeff, and as life would have it, I had no idea that our lives would intersect. How you feeling? Lieutenant Dan? You mean the guy from Forrest Gump with no legs? <laughs> Jeff Bowman, when you meet him, you are immediately struck by his warmth and sense of humor. What are you doing? Uh, talking to you, what are you doing? Dancing. I could be here forever talking about why I love Jeff, his inexplicable sense of survival and humility and grace in the face of unfathomable things. <laughs> I can't do this. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. It's very fascinating to take a guy that's working as a chicken roaster at Costco, then thrust him into an extraordinary circumstance. He was all of a sudden in the public eye. He was all of a sudden put in a different kind of life. And I think that he adjusted the best that he could. My life has changed in, in four years. Learning how to walk again with artificial legs, it's, uh, it's, it's really, really tough but I also have a lot of great in my life. I have a three-year-old daughter, and she's just like the light of my life. It was very important for us to be shooting in Boston. There was no other place to shoot this movie. I think Boston's super strong and super willing to share this story. We wanted this to be something that Boston would be proud of. You're like a symbol to a lot of people. For what? You know, you're Boston strong, right? I hope they see that we have done everything we can to show the world, hopefully, what an incredible place the city of Boston is and what an incredible spirit the people of Boston have. I'm gonna be okay, right? So you're gonna be okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, go Socks. Let's go Socks! <laughs> What is so resonant to me about this film is the hope that it gives in terms of how love is healing. In spaces where we just believe we can't keep going, that we can't go on, we can. And that's what Jeff shows us, and I think that's what this movie is about. People are often referring to him as a hero, and that's not necessarily a word he applies to himself. I'm not a hero. To me, like police officers that go out and put their life on the line and, and firemen or uh, our paramedic, you know, those are real heroes that deal with that stuff every day. I'm just uh, a survivor, I guess. That's uh, took a crappy situation and spun it around. Mm -hmm.